Okay, guys, um, welcome back. Let's talk about Aufgabe 4, the protocol Uh But before we start off, I just want to point out one video that you ha absolutely have to watch, and it's this one. Um, you just uh, search this on YouTube and look for the third lecture. Okay, I'll, I, or just click on the link in the description below. Watch just the first 20 minutes of it and then come watch the rest of this video. Please. Okay, so uh, now assuming that you've uh, assuming that you've watched the MIT video and you know how to multiply matrices, we can now start doing the question, the Aufgabe. So the Aufgabe gives us a matrix A, a little two by two matrix and a transformation. X becomes AX minus X transpose A. T for transpose. <coughs> Excuse me. So, well, what's X and what's A? We know what A is, that's A. What's X? X is going to be each of the bases that they give you down here. They give you the four bases, you know, one, zero, 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 one. So the ones are all in each of the four different positions in the two by two matrix. Now, um, okay, so that's what they give us and let's try to figure out the question. Okay, so here's the, um, how you do it. Let me, uh, block it out so you don't get uh, distracted. Okay, so here's again the A and here's a transformation. I didn't write the bases because I think you have that been memorized already. Um, what you have to do is you have to, X is going to be each of your bases. So that means for each of the four bases that they give, um, you have to apply the transformation. So let's do it for the first base. Uh, and that's your one zero zero zero. Um, you can, that's your X. So X transpose is going to be when you switch the rows and columns. So the first row becomes the first column and the second row becomes the second column. Now you're ready to apply the transformation. You have your A, you have your X, and you have your X transpose. So let's do it. That's a transformation. So that's A times X minus X transpose times A. And uh, how does that work? Well, uh, let's see. Okay. So obviously that's a product that's another product so let's first figure uh the product of these two matrices what happens we're gonna have to build the the product is you know it's going to be two by two because it's going to have two rows and two columns right and here uh we're going to do it like gilbert strang does it which means let's do it build it by columns instead of one entry one by one. So if we try to build by columns, so we let's assume we have to first figure out what's this column. Well, this column, if you want to build the first column, then you have to look at the first column of the right matrix. And what does the first column of the right matrix tell you? It tells us you're going to take one of this column and add it to zero of the second column. So one of the first column plus none of the second column. One of this plus none of that. So it's one of this plus zero, which is just one of this. And that's your column over here. Now we're going to build the second column, this column. And to build this second column, you look at the corresponding column in the right-hand matrix. So you look at this one. And what does this column tell us? It tells us you're gonna take zero of the first column of the left matrix plus zero of the second column of the left matrix as well. So zero of the first column and zero of the second column. That's zero plus zero is just 
zero. And you're finished. It's a lot easier than uh, building it, you know, one entry by entry. You make less mistakes. You see, you see a clearer picture. Okay. So now uh, let's build this product. So it's going to be that subtracted this product. With this product, we can also build it, um, you know, column by column. But of course, uh, if you've watched the video, you know that you can also build a matrix row by row. And in this case, I'd like to build it row by row because it seems easier to do so. You know, there's more zeros here. If you build it by rows, you look at the left matrix. If you build it by columns, you look at the right matrix. But the right matrix has a lot of non-zero entries. The left matrix has a lot of zeros, and we like zeros. So we're going to build it by rows. Look at the mat left matrix. So let's first build the first row. To build the first row of this matrix, you look at the first row of the left matrix. And the further the left matrix says, take one of the first row plus zero of the second row of the right hand matrix. So it's one of this plus none of that. So it's just one of this, and that's here, one of this. Now let's build the second row. The second row, well, where did it come from? To build the second row, you look at this second row of the left matrix, right? And the left matrix, and this row tells us take zero of the first row plus zero the second row, that's going to give you this row. Zero, zero plus zero, zero is zero, zero. And all together, um, that's what you have. So now you've got these two matrices, subtract them, that's easy, and you get that. Now you do the same for the next base. Here we did it for just one base, but remember there were four bases. So do it for the next base. 0, 1, 0, 0. That's a transpose, right? The first row becomes the first column. The second row becomes the second column. You apply the same transformation, and then you uh, get this. Of course, I, you know, here, what I did was I built it column by column for this matrix and row by row for this matrix, and I explained why. But just for exercise, and perhaps when you're checking your work, you can try to build this one by uh, by rows instead of columns and build this one by columns instead of by rows. You'd see that it works out as well. I mean, imagine if uh, you know we had to build this matrix, but by columns instead of by rows like we did earlier. So if we want to build this column, you look at the corresponding column of the right-hand matrix, which is this one, right? And it tells you to take the zero of this column and subtract one of this column, right? Zero of this minus one times zero is still zero, zero, so that checks out. And now if you had to build uh, the second column, uh, you'd, you'd look at this column, right? And then it tells you to take one of this column plus zero of that column. So one zero plus zero, zero is just one zero, and that checks out as well. Just practice, uh, and you'll be used to it very soon. And then you do the same for the next base, 0, 0, 1, 0. And then you get uh, that. And you do, basically you do it for each of the four bases, right? First, second, third, and fourth base. And you get the uh, four matri matrices out of them. But that's not the end of your, your work yet. Now you just have to take each of these matrices and write them as a column vector to form the upbuildings matrix that they asked for. So this here, 0, minus 1, minus 1, 0 becomes the first column. 0, minus 1, minus 1, 0. 0, 0, 0, minus 2 becomes the second column. 0, 0, 0, minus 2. 2, 0, 0, 0, 0 becomes that. And 0, 1, 1, 0 becomes that. This is your final answer. So you write each matrix as a column. And you have your upbuildings matrix. The next part, they're going to ask for the kernel or the null space of this matrix. Uh, they ask for the kernel of phi, which is just the kernel of this matrix. And a quick reminder, what's the kernel? The kernel is the null space, which is all the vectors that multiply with the matrix A. So all the vectors X, that when you multiply it with A, it returns a zero. Okay, 
And how do you do that? Well, you solve that equation. You know your zero, you know your a, that's your a. You gotta find your x, and that's just Gauss, right? Elimination, so you solve ax equals zero. Yeah, I don't write the zeros here because the zeros never change, but look, just do some simple elimination, and you see very quickly, you know, for example, the third row, uh, I subtract this one, I subtract one of the second row from the third row, and that gives me the, my new third row. My first row, I divide by two, and I get that. My last row, I divide by minus two, and I get, uh, minus, I get a one here. And this one, I switch the signs by multiplying it by negative one. So I don't know, I wanted to do that. You don't have to. Once you do that, I rearrange the rows so that your pivots are nicely lined up along the main diagonal. And now you know which columns have pivots and which columns do not have a pivot. This doesn't have a pivot because, well, this row doesn't have any non-zero entries. A zero cannot be a pivot, so this row doesn't have a pivot, and by extension, the column also does not have a pivot, which means it's a, a free column. Okay, so now you have A, B, C, D, okay, um, and just solve it, right? Um, the free variable always equals itself, so that's a free variable, D equals D, A equals D, B is zero, and B is zero, and C is zero. Now you can build your matrix, right? A, B, C, D. A is one D, B is zero D, C is zero D, and D is D itself. So that's one of your, well, that's your kernel. If you don't, if you multiply, you know, you multiply this matrix by this vector, you will get zero, 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 zero. But of course, we need it. You cannot write it as a column vector. You need to write it as a two by two matrix. Otherwise, you don't get uh, the right answer. So just write this as two by two matrix. Otherwise, no points. Okay. So don't do that, guys. Okay. So that was the kernel, part B. Part C. They're going to ask for the build this time. And the build is just the column space. And the basis of the build, and you know, to put it uh, in short, it's just um, the independent columns in the original matrix. Okay. Key word is original matrix. Do not confuse it with this matrix. The independent columns, how do you find them? Well, guess what? That's your original matrix, right? That, that, that's your Appellum's matrix here that you, that you found here. That's copy and paste it here. Okay. When you do, you find the independent columns by doing Gaussian elimination on them. And we already did that up here, so we don't have to do it again. And you can just read off which ones are the independent columns. The columns with the pivots are the columns are the independent columns in your original matrix. So if column one, two, and three have the pivots after elimination, that means the first three columns uh, are independent, are independent. And uh, the last column is dependent, which means that you can make the last column from a combination of the three columns. Here I digress. Uh, you don't have to, you can skip this part, but it's just quite interesting. Uh, to see uh, how you can make this column out of combination of these columns. It's, I, I, I think it's really easy to see if you take minus one of this, so zero, one, one, zero, plus zero of this, plus zero of this, that gives you this column, which means this column is dependent on the other three columns for sure. Anyways, it's not important. If you did this correctly, you know your pivot columns, you know your independent ones. So you just have to take these columns here and now write them again, please guys, uh, two by two matrices. Don't write them as a column vector. So the base is a set of each of these columns, but written as a two by two matrix, right? 
zero minus one minus one zero zero minus one minus one zero 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 minus two zero 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 minus two and two three zeros two three zeros okay and the last part is really easy they ask for the rung in english it's called rank the rank just means the number of independent columns you already found that in the previous part guys how many columns are independent three of them they're the columns with the pivots so the rank is just the number of independent columns which is the number of columns with the pivots which is also the number of vectors in the basis of the build right we have one two three vectors make well they're matrices but okay vectors as well so it's easy three three vectors here three uh, vectors in the base so the rank is three all right thanks guys